These girls, when they grow up, they just produce, they produce, and then you don't have a value. <laughs> but when you educate boys, eh, these boys, they become doctors. President, you see, like Uganda, we have never got a lady like a president, you see? So let, girls should not go to school. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. What do you say? In the fact, Mr. Kassin, so you, you have spoken me, and I've agreed with your decision. Yes. You know what? We should stop giving them school fees so that we can take alcohol. Don't you say that we are building a stand up? Why can't? Oh, you can't take even those girls to school because oh, oh, oh. they just go there and bless it and get <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, that's even good. Why not girls? Sit go down, you are young girl. You are young girl. You are just born to pay. Let me leave your meeting and I go. I'll first come back. But this one is a young girl. How can you talk when you are talking? I don't mind she's young. Give her opportunity also to express herself. She's young. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear person. With this matter, please, parents. Girls should also go to school because there is no great difference between boys and girls. We are all equal. Education is for both of us. And the other thing, even though we are young people, we, all, we also have that opportunity to take part in decision making. In a meeting like this one, it's open for everybody. To, to, to decide to bring out his or her ideas. In a meeting like this one, it was not a, a good thing to stop me or any, anybody else because we are young. We have also to take part in decision making. Thank you very much, young person. You are young, right. Thank you. This is a book too. It's cute. To the title. All right, education. Thank you for listening.